Ask something. Ask something. No, like for real, ask us something, because how else we supposed to know you got problems? Shit, look. Take my advice with a grain of salt. Whether you use it or not, hey, that's your call. I never said I give good advice. Matter of fact, I give hood advice. So think twice when you ask me something. Say it with your chest, motherfucker, stop fronting. Got questions about your relationship? Better ask a professional, cause I don't know shit. You got questions and need advice? Ask something. Go ahead, say what's on your mind. Ask something. You got questions and need advice? Ask something. Ask something. I, 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 stop fronting. Thumbs up. This is from Nathan Chown eighty seven six. The fuck was that? I don't Chown eighty seven. Chown. Chown. He Asian? I don't know. I can't really tell from the picture because it looked like it. Maybe. All right. So uh, Nathan, I lost the thing. Okay. Nathan says I changed hobbies and interests. Mm. I'm happy. But now my friends don't talk to me as much. Should I stop what I enjoy to please my friends or like to chill with them again? He didn't say all that, but you'll see it right there. I don't think you should you should stop what you're enjoying. Uh, this was going down, like, it, and it happens in life. Uh, you you're gonna have friends that this is going. It's like two types of friends. Is you find new hobbies that you love doing, and so as long as they're good hobbies, not like bad shit. I hope it's good stuff, like. Pokemon cards or some shit. I don't... Pokemon? Yeah, they still doing it real big. X and Y coming out soon. If you playing Pokemon, you ain't getting no pussy. Why do I got to do... Look, if it make him happy... Ain't going to make his dick happy. He can still do something else with it. Right hand all day. <laughs> <laughs> look. All right, so you got two types of friends. One of the friends is like, you know, okay, so like, I'm into Pokemon now. I chill with him, but he, he don't give a fuck about Pokemon. He could either be one or two friends. One, he gonna be like, yo, I don't fuck with Pokemon no more, so like, we can't really chill no more. That's fucked up. Two, y'all could, I'm sure you guys have some kind of common ground because you, you guys were boys from the beginning. Two, he could be like, like, all right, you could do your little Pokemon shit like Tuesdays, Wednesdays, whatever, and then, you know, we could do our shit like this other day. They, they still gonna rock with you. So I don't think you should change anything you're doing for your friends. You should, if it's making you happy, your new hobby, you going to find new friends that are doing the same shit you doing and then you know what I'm saying then you going to rock with them. So you could you could either keep the friends that you with if they understanding and and let you do whatever you want to do as far as your hobby goes or they could be like, "All right, peace out. New friends with your new hobbies that you love doing. If they your true friends, they don't they shouldn't give a fuck what your hobbies are. They still going to rock with you and do your thing. You just find a different day or a different way to, you know, to stay, to keep that friendship. That's it. I mean, you do your thing with that. There are two different types of friends. One's not really a friend. It's actual, actually an acquaintance. Yeah. You know? True friends, like Dash and I. Yeah. I've known this motherfucker forever. I met him um, based on a lot of the same similarities we yeah. have. Yeah. You know, like music, video games. Yeah. From there... You know, grew into a, a good friendship, and you know, over time, you're gonna come across things that I may that I find enjoyable that he may not like. That's fine. It's good to have differences. But if someone's completely like, you know, dogging your shit, like, okay, Pokemon cards. Yeah. They're not being fucking Pokemon cards. It's not wrong. But Pokemon. He ain't gonna get no pussy. Forget. It. There's bitches that like Pokemon too. They get that Poke Puss. I'm telling you, man, that's probably the best put out there because they're little nerdy bitches. They be cute as fuck. They're like, kick, 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 and they be cute as fuck. Got a little Pokemon and you be like doing it and they got a little Pokemon hat on. All right, so say you like Pokemon cards. Yeah. And the guy who's obviously giving you a hard time or your friend or whatever like that, they're not your real friend. No. Nope. If they were your real friend, they would accept the fact that you have differences in taste yeah. versus what they like. I don't like everything that this man likes. And vice versa. That's it. But fortunately, the things that we do like over, you know, overweigh everything that we don't have in common. In common. Yeah. That's, and you know what? It, it is what it is. But if you um, feel as if this person doesn't like anything, then that person, you shouldn't even fucking yeah. waste your time with that person. But another good point he made is that 
things that you in life will come across that you enjoy doing, you'll make new friends out of that. Sure will. All right. P1, the letter P, one, four, the number four, yeah. life. <laughs> His Twitter is phenomenal spaz. S P A Z. Interesting. Question is, what are some ways of containing your anger though you're a hothead? By the way, huge fan of y'all gooder than a bitch. That's what's up. What's good though? What's up? All right. Oh, oh, what? Oh, 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 <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not proud of it, but I'm, I used to be a big hothead. I used to get angry for the smallest, dumbest shit. Over time, I've found ways to control my anger. Um, I'm very outspoken. He knows that. And, um, show this. Something about him, he'll tell me. He'll tell me. Um, like, he's the same way, but he filters it. You know, he does it in a very yeah, sympathetic yeah. way. I, yeah, because I, I, I have no fucking filter. I try to stay away from our confrontations. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm not, I'm not about that life. It, you know, I just, I, I just like, I'm very easy going. Yeah, I'm very easy going. I'm like, you know, if there's, there's no need to be a fight about something. I want to avoid it at all costs. I, I totally agree. But I, I used to be a hothead too, and you, you look awfully young. So obviously, you're allowing your anger to get the best of you. There's different ways you could harness your anger. Yeah. Work out, um, maybe box, you know, hit the, hit the weights and shit. Um, or talk to somebody about it. Sometimes talking to somebody about how you feel oh, yeah. helps. Don't be embarrassed. People talk to other people about other shit. It's venting. It yeah. helps. It helps kind of reflect because at the end of the day, if you're a fucking hothead, you need to take a moment to reflect on what's making you so pissed off. Because mm -hmm. until you figure that out, you're never going to grow up. Because unfortunately, that will not allow you to become a mature individual, especially in a social world that we live in. Because that hothead shit, you're not going to have long-lasting relationships. Mm -mm. You're not going to be able to keep a fucking job. Nope. You're basically going to be a walking bad credit. Nobody's mm. going to want to talk to you. Nobody's going to want to fuck with you because they know that, oh, man, if he gets pissed off, then fuck it, you know? So there's other ways. Working out, boxing, and definitely I would encourage you to talk to somebody. Talking to somebody is probably the most important thing you could do. It helps to get this shit off your chest. So that's my recommendation. Go. Oh, I got to jump in on this one? You don't have to. Um. Well, I feel like I should. You... All right, you mad? <laughs> Find something to you got, let it. You got something to get off your chest? Rap. You could always rap. Give me a beat. Yo, uh, uh, yo, check it out. Uh, 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 uh mm, what? Yo, yo, yo. How you doing, friend? Oh well, I'm mad as hell. I wanna punch a bitch in the face like oh well, but when I do, I go to do do, then I go to pee pee, then I see b b sitting. On the couch, she a little cow potato And I don't give a damn cause I be like, yo, way ho Hello, bitch, what you wanna do? Nothing, I don't even know why you keep stuff fighting cause That didn't make any sense Nothing But It helped <laughs> I guess But it helped, I feel play You feel better? Yeah, play got that thought will kill a whole bunch of people in that game It feels great I be killing nurses EMT dudes Uh, uh, fat bitches um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see motherfuckers sitting in the bench. I jump on them like this, and then they die. I don't know how you die. You're just sitting in the bench, but they do. Can you fuck prostitutes in this one? Too? You sure can. I need a You got that dun, 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 and then the bitches get in the car, and then y'all going in the car, bouncing and shit. You go to strip clubs. You see the titties all in your face. You can make it rain. Smack them. Grant that thought of five. I'm not like sponsored or anything, but I wish. Them you just fucking did. I just what? All right, this is from T Freaky. I don't know how freaky. Uh, Lady Tiffany. What's good, Tiffany? Tiffany. Says, my boyfriend is 23 with no job. Mm. And I want him to succeed in life. How can I tell him nicely, get a fucking job? Well, um, you know, unfortunately, there really is no nice way to say it. Cause it, it if some for somebody who doesn't have a job, it, there's there's really no nice way to say it. They're gonna take offense to it. He's gonna take offense to it. He's gonna be like like oh so what you trying to say? Like you know what I'm saying? Like 
What? Like you, you paying for all my shit? You know, they, it's gonna it's gonna be offensive either way. Um, but you know, you you just need to like have a serious combo. I feel like that always uh, resolves any situation. You just sit down with them like, hey, how you doing? Hey, man. Listen, um, like you know, I'm not trying to come at you like the wrong way, but you know, what I'm saying, you know, you're 23. You're not. I'm assuming he doesn't go to school, cause, I mean, if you, you know, what I'm saying, even if he's going to school, I'm sure he can get a little part time or something. That you're probably paying for everything. Did you just get a text? And you know, he probably like, oh, I applied at like four places, but all day he was probably playing GTA, fucking hoes, making it rain in a strip club. Ain't worried about nothing. Killing people. I ain't worried about nothing. Okay. Bottom line, go up to him. Say, listen, um, you know, um, you know, I don't know disrespect, you know, I'm saying I just I want you to better yourself. Um, you Here's know a fucking saying? application. Fill it out. <laughs> <laughs> get a job, please. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you get a job, I'll get you some, some extra. Like, maybe maybe he been wanting to, like, put in the booty or something. Right? You never know. Like, some dude. Look. So, like, maybe he trying to do a little something uh, freaky with you. Like, like he want to, like, tie you up or something. Give him a little incentive and be like, if you get a job, I'll do that little freaky thing you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he'll be like, oh, shit. Next day, oh, I got a job at McDonald's, though. But I got a Go on. <laughs> I don't know how to follow that. Um, uh, um we don't know how long you've been with him. Yeah, we, we, I, I don't even know if you really, really love him. I mean, yeah. obviously, I guess you you care in yeah. your own way, and you don't want to hurt his feelings, which I respect. It's hard, but there's always a different side of the story too. Um, maybe all his life, since people have been doing shit for him, like his parents, and just in general, they've enabled him to be this way, to where he's not thinking about a job. Maybe he doesn't really need one right now because he's That's like, deep. fuck it, I'm probably in school or I'm not really doing That's much. I'm just, he's living the teenage dream still. So that could be enabling him to not do much. But if you enable him, if you enable him mm -hmm. by buying his fucking, his food, yep. gas in his car, whatever, mm -hmm. if you're doing that shit, you're never going to be able to, to give your own opinion because all you're doing is you're, you're a hypocrite. You need a new job, but you need those new shoes. Here's some money. Boom. So if you're helping him financially, stop. Word. When he sees a difference, like, damn, you know, girl didn't give me money for this. I wonder what's wrong. And when he want, if he comes at you, he's like, what's going on? Well, what's going on is that we need to talk about why you don't have a job. Word. All right. So this question is from Matt Heffley. Ooh. And the Twitter is Heffley Matt. Oh. How you doing, Matt? Just got Question. I want to ask my girlfriend to marry me. How do I get past the nervousness? How did you sport? Ooh. Where's the best place? It's funny you should mention that. Uh-oh. Well, so that you know, just a little background. Um, I've been with her for six years. I um, proposed about a year and a half ago. I actually did it during Christmas. I just felt that it was right. And, you know, I just thought I'd surprise her. So... Nervousness, man, you're going you're gonna to feel nervous no matter what. And that's a good thing because you, you're excited, you love her, and you want to marry her. That's awesome. Good for you. Um, be real. You know, look, look, look her in the eye and just tell her how you feel. And that nervousness is a good thing because let me tell you, girls like that guys are nervous because you're, you know, you're showing your, your kind of like your very soft side. Like, you know, you're, you're just showing, you know, your heart. So that's good. So, you know, the nervous society actually might be not, might not be a bad thing. It'd be a good thing. So, you know, to tell her, you know, I love you, been with you so-and-so, write something nice, you know, write something sweet or allow it to come from the heart. And, um, I think you'll do just a good job. So you, you'll do a great job. Excuse me. You'll do a great job. And, uh, don't be so nervous, man. Have fun with it. She'll love you no matter what. Boom. That was a great, nice little short and sweet answer. That's what's up. Uh, you got, you got anything to add? I sure don't. I ain't got nothing to do with this marriage shit. You ain't got to worry about nothing. I don't uh, Guys, give it a thumbs up. Glad y'all loved it. We love y'all back. Um, uh, I'll holla at your boy, and uh, hopefully we don't fuck up the sound on the next one. That's his bad. No, it's not. I love y'all. Holla at your boy. Thumbs up. Yeah! Ah! Take my advice with a grain of salt. Whether you use it or not, hey, that's your call. I never said I give good advice. 
Matter of fact, I give good advice. 